Nick Bockwinkle is one of the greatest legends in the history of the sport. His title reign in the AWA and his classic battles against Vern Gagne are legendary. But he takes the AWA belt south to Texas to face some real southern competition. As always, Bockwinkle displayed his arrogance. But this time, but this time, it would come back to haunt him. Uh, the caliber of professional that I am, the standard as a world champion that I have set has been a new standard, a standard that very few other wrestlers have attained. And consequently, I have made it very difficult for all those who are contenders to climb that ladder, hopefully trying to take and reach the top. But it is my intention and my desire to show you fine people, you Cretanous humanoids out there, just what it is like to be a world's heavyweight champion. And now I'll take and go and out. Is it right? What is this? What, what is this? It's Manny Fernandez. Hey, man. Somebody trying to be cute. I was not signed to wrestle this man, and I should not be stepping into the ring with him. Is this a ploy on the part of the promoters? You've got a smirk on your face, all, all of you. Are, 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 are you all in on something that I don't know about? I should not have to be wrestling this man right now. I see no reason. You're enjoying it. I can see that all of you are. Yes, I'm, I will take this up with Stanley Blackburn because this is not the way it is supposed to be. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain to you what went on. Bockwinkle thought he was going to wrestle Terry Allen. Terry was in the ring. He made a few insulting remarks about Terry's ability and about his high standards. And while he was jacking his jaws with yours truly, who did have a smirk on his face, into the ring on the other side came, are you kidding me? Yeah, he's standing with kind of a smirk on his face. Bockwinkle's all upset. Yeah, he's bent. Manny Fernandez rides again against world champion Nick Bockwinkle. Bach Winkle immediately started grabbing. Manny Fernandez, a world-class athlete himself, let me assure you of every second of that, going against uh, the reigning heavyweight champion, Nick Bockwinkle. Bockwinkle grousing, he didn't sign to fight this man. Well, let's uh, check out your standards here, uh, Nicholas. As you go against Manny Fernandez. No light show for anybody. Bockwinkle in the ring. He is the world's uh, world champion. I mean, hey, man, right about that. But you can see his hesitation to wrestle Manny Fernandez. Big, crushing side headlock. Fernandez on Bockwinkle. And it continues. Whoa! Hip toss and a butte. Big. Oh, body slam. And thank you. I'll return that favor, Brother Bockwinkle. Hip toss. Main event in anybody's arena. Bockwinkle and Fernandez. Right now, side head, Manny on Bockwinkle coming up tonight. Uh, Gino's back on is looking down our card. And Dick Slater, the Southwest Heavyweight Champion, will go against Dory Funk Jr. Of course, uh, you realize the blood in that situation. Last week, uh, Tully Blanchard took a hammer to the ear of Terry Funk. And this goes back a ways. Well, the boys got to say, I'll oh, explain it to you if you would. Huh? So back in Florida, uh, not so long ago. Oh, crisscrossing in the ring. Bockwinkle takes him over the top. Not so long ago. the top. Almost. He worked on him. He hip tosses him. One. Back and forth not so long ago. Back to the uh, Funk and Blanchard rivalry. Uh, as, a, as a match was being signed, the contract was being signed for the match. Tully Blanchard, as Tully has been known to do, took a belt and went after the Funks. Terry swore to avenge that. He said he wouldn't let Blanchard wrestle his brother Dory because of the attack by Blanchard with the championship belt during the contract signing session. Blanchard said, 
that he would fight Dory. Terry Funk threatened to beat Tully Blanchard with an inch of his life, and I thought he was going to do it last week right here in the ring. Blanchard got the bell ringer Zammer and went after Terry Funk in case they missed that show. Big, full body slam. Almost tore Terry Funk's ear off his head. In town, sworn to avenge his brother's injury and a very serious one, I'm afraid, is Dory Funk Jr. And I guarantee you, that old thing is just boiling right now between Blanchard and the Funks. And I'm not sure I'd want to be in Blanchard's position, but there is, you know, Terry and, and Tully Blanchard at one time were, were tag team wrestling partners, which uh, just goes to show you how quickly in this, uh, this sport things can change. Blanchard has all but become an outlaw, and the Funks are after him. Unfortunately, one of the Funk boys, Terry, had to be seriously injured. But I'm afraid this thing hasn't come to an end yet. Well, obviously it hasn't. In the ring, side headlock. Manny Fernandez on the world's champion, Nick Bockwinkel. He stands him up. Bockwinkel using the trunks. Oh, going to hip dog. Did that backfire? One, two. Bockwinkle barely flails out. Nick, I see you're concerned about wrestling brother Fernandez now. He was about as startled as anybody I've ever seen when he turned over his shoulder expecting to find young Terry Allen, who's an excellent wrestler in his own right. But he did not expect to see world-class Manny Fernandez standing there in his shoes. Side headlock. Fernandez on Bockwinkle. We'll see Ken Patera tonight before this uh, night is over, too. I'll tell you, that, that's a kind of an interesting story. One, two, and he managed to get out. Ken Patera could be the world's strongest man. I'll, I'll tell you right now, at least in the wrestling profession. And Patera was actually, the word I get, the uh, back rooms and uh, sticking my ear through cracks to all one thing and another, is that Patera was imported by Buck Rowley to give a little assistance. to himself and Tank Patton and a few others of such bent. Meanwhile, Tiger Conway Jr. got tired of all that business, been ganged up on constantly over the rules broken and bent. And uh, thus comes to town, the plot does thicken considerably because thus comes to town, big Bruiser Brody. And boy, when he comes to town, everybody knows it. I, I think you'll have to agree to that. Manny into the ropes, Bockwinkle catches him. Big hard fist of the world champion into the stomach of Manny Fernandez. Uses the wrestling shoe on him. And again, Bockwinkle slings him into the ropes, catches him with the knee. Manny Fernandez undergoing a tremendous amount of punishment right now at the hands of Bockwinkle, who is a past master at handing out punishment into the ropes. Catches him again with a knee. Juan Reynosa, third man in the ring. As Bach Weagle continues to work on Fernandez. Body, no, side breaker. Fernandez now going for the kill. No, no, Bach Weagle for the kill, too. And Fernandez bridges out. Southwest Championship Wrestling. I'm convinced, best wrestling in the whole world. And available to every week, wherever you are in this country. There's uh, Fernandez's head just got split open on the turnbuckle. Knee to the rib cage, another knee to the chest bone. Right where everything comes together in the chest, Bockwinkle does know how to punish you. Bockwinkle, one more time. Air of the head and arm sling. Oh, big Barrett, backbreaker. A backbreaker. Bockwinkle on Fernandez. Reynosa checking with Fernandez Seymour. Oh, slammed him. Guarantee you, looks like nobody's sticking up. Up a con on each chair with a tack hammer. Bockwinkle working on the head bone of Manny Fernandez. Fernandez, the next champ himself. 
And I guarantee you, he's had his head beat on before, and he likes to do some of that himself. He says, that's so much fun, Nicky. Here, help yourself. Enjoy that one. Stand-up double off the head of Nick Bockwinkle. Landis bleeding profusely. Bockwinkle at this point falls like a felled oak. Fernandez drives him under the mat. Turns him over for the kill. One, two. Bockwinkle gets out. Fernandez going to suplex him for all the world. And here it comes. Big, full body suplex. Fernandez on Bockwinkle. Getting himself some of that action. Ten minute time of a match with Bockwinkle. And Manny Fernandez getting with it. Just one of several outstanding matches tonight here on Southwest Championship Wrestling. Fernandez across the ring with Bockwinkle. Lays him out again. One more time. One, two. Bockwinkle flails out. Again, Ken Patera here coming up this evening. He's a strong one. Whether you like him or not, his suplexes him outside in. Bockwinkle at the mercy at the moment. There's the sleeper. Fernandez on Bockwinkle. Bockwinkle fighting. He's fighting. Fernandez with the arms of this man has on him. I guarantee you the former Florida State champ can put you nighty night. Should have wore your jammies with a little rough, a little fuzzy ducks on them. Are you kidding me? Fernandez with a sleeper hold on Bockwinkle. Time caught him. Time caught him. I got to tell you, I got to tell you another 30 seconds, minute at the most, and Manny Fernandez would have defeated the world's heavyweight champion. You saw it for yourself. He had him in his clutches. I mean, Bockwinkle was doing everything but putting his 90 on. 